Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm so glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, March 10th, 2023. And the girls and I are on location or in transit <laughs> to Maine. We've made it to the province of Manitoba. We may spend an extra night here because there's a snowstorm morning. So we'll see what the travel conditions are like tomorrow. But this gives me a chance to uh, touch on some current event topics. And one that I wanted to talk about in particular involves our beloved Mr. T. You know, he was widely ridiculed. Well, every time he did anything, he was widely ridiculed. But back before it fit the narrative, he was insisting that a certain malady had come from China. He was even mocked for the way he pronounced the name China. But there's some chatter on alt media that says, hmm, maybe he was even more ahead of his time and disclosing more than we realized when he was talking about how a malady had come out of China. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You may remember this press conference where he talked about the uh, where it uh, had originated. And he only said China, but he held up three Q-tips in the shape of a trident, which coincidentally is the coat of arms for a country that has a number of, now we know, or it's now admitted, laboratories where nefarious and gain of function things were happening. As always, I will have a link to this Facebook post that shows the locations of the labs, talks about how there is a place in that country, less than an hour drive from one known lab. And uh, these are the known ones, okay? <laughs> so I thought, hmm, let's ask the cards. My question tonight is going to be, was Mr. T obviously with the, uh, the three Q-tips, he was speaking in code. He was in layering some clo coded information. But let's check with the cards and see. Was he trying to let us know that there was a uh, point of origin, a place of development that had to do with those that trident and nothing to do with where it was dispersed? We won't uh, question that it was first dispersed out of the uh, country, continent of China. But let's ask about where it was developed. And if there's other insights and information the universe wants us to know about the development of this uh, malady. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. When Mr. T was talking about China, was he speaking in code that the malady that uh, spanned the globe, the pandemic, had actually been developed in a lab in one of the, that country that starts with a U. And are there other insights and information the universe would like us to have? That wasn't a jumper. That was just me being a fumble finger. So I'm not gonna worry about what it was. I say jumper because sometimes a card will jump out of the deck when it's really uh, obvious that that's what's happened. It's good to take a look and see what it is. Okay, our first card is the Three of Wands. Ooh, tower. Judgment. Five of Pentacles. King of Cups. Ten of Wands. The Moon. Okay, well, as always, I'm going to tell you what I think I'm seeing here in the cards, and then I'll explain what elements in the cards led me to that conclusion. We asked, was the uh, malady that spanned the globe actually developed in the country that starts with a U, and uh, was Mr. T trying to communicate that with us? The Three of Wands is a communication card. Absolutely. Okay. And so I'm getting a yes that he was trying to, even then, let us know 
that there was uh, shenanigans happening in that country, not just over in China. And <laughs> the, um, the purpose of it was to cause mayhem, to uh, uh, upset systems that were already barely functional and to end life. So let's show, I'll show you why I say that. First of all, again, communications with the uh, um, wands card here, the three of wands. It's also about looking out, uh, starting out on a new path. And so, yeah, the plan was to uh, have a very chaotic and uh, sad event happen for the human race. It was one of our tower moments, this whole pandemic was. Okay, <clears throat> the judgment card shows up here in the recent past, so that uh, even though it was planned, it has been, it hasn't rolled out to the extent and that the shenanigans gang would have liked, okay? <laughs> In fact, they're not very happy right now. Let's look at the current here. The uh, Five of Pentacles, <laughs> they are uh, kind of in their own way and um, uh, they're in damage control and trying to avoid more disclosures and truths coming out. Okay, let's look at the near future here. We got the cups showing up, King of Cups, okay? Um, <clears throat> he can be, he's very much in charge of his emotions. This was very much a very callous, un unloving um, endeavor on the part of the deep state, okay? They set their emotions aside and looked at the end game. What did they want? They wanted to reduce population that was more compliant. And uh, that was their goal. Okay, 10 of wands is telling us a little more about that. The 10 means the end of something. So the uh, the, the jig is up. <laughs> we know where it was dispersed. We know where it was created. We know what the intent was. The intent was um, extreme loss of life. And there has been some, and unfortunately, more has happened as a result of what they claimed would mitigate it and uh, the jabs than ever was developed in the lab. Let's get a couple other cards here. Oh, Mr. Biden's showing up. My Five of Cups card is my Biden card, okay? <laughs> and he's never too happy, but then he wouldn't be. He usually shows up near the Tower card too, so that's funny. Got some more insights going on that the uh, the plan moving forward is to improve our health, our access to remedies. And yes, we're getting a confirmation about where that was developed, but we're also getting some reassurances that uh, there are remedies on the way that will be helpful to us. Again, another queen, we had the queen, the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Uh, just very good, loving energy, abundance, health, good things. Huh. And another queen, we have three of the queens. The uh, feminine, divine feminine energy in this read is, is off the charts. Okay? Because we mothers and grandmothers, we have had it. We want safety and we want our little ones to be safe. We want remedies to truly be remedies. And... Uh, the divine feminine energy is surging in our reality, and it should. It should. Now, why do I say that? Because for too long, we've had the divine masculine have a um, too much of a stranglehold and no balance in the energies in our world. And we need the, uh, the nurturing energy just as much as we need the, the divine masculine which also has a nurturing element to it, but it's usually expressed a little differently. But balance, so they bring out the best of one another, the best of those energies. So yeah, let's recap. I asked the universe, was Mr. T trying to let us know that that uh, particular malady that's been out for the last few years had been developed over in a country that starts with a U. And we got a pretty solid yes on that. And then we were asking for insights and information about it. And the insights I got was that the plan was for it to be much more devastating. It acknowledged that there was devastation and death involved with this. 
Okay. And it showed up, the moon card still shows up in the near future. So some is going to continue, but looking farther ahead, that's some beautiful energy with lots of queens showing up. That indicates to me that the uh, the remedies will be here. The uh, the losses, the collateral damage will be kept as, as small as possible. And hopefully everybody will get out of the universe's way and allow our world to go to where it needs to be, to have those cures, to have those technologies, to have all of those good things available to us and not just uh, hidden because some <clears throat> evil values power more. Those days are done. Okay, so <laughs> prayer and intention warriors. Let's pray and let's intention, whichever you do, that uh, the best possible outcome is had as soon as possible. In this and all situations that involve uh, the, uh, the health and well-being of humans on this earth so that we can get back on track and start developing our full potential. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for uh, being patient and kind while I work with minimal equipment. And uh, I acknowledge when I talk late in the day like this after driving 400 miles, um, my voice is a little hoarse. So don't worry about me as a consequence of having some vocal cord damage. I'm not in pain. <laughs> so don't worry about me on that. Um, that's why I usually try to make my videos earlier in the day when I'm not moving so that uh, I can speak as clearly and cogently as possible. So until next time, which hopefully won't be too very long, but I've got to get to Maine, so i got to prioritize travel, not just uh, and slide in some current events when I can. I wish you love and light and all things bright. Good night.